coming back actually on that motorbike. Good morning everybody! Today we are in a new location of Mexico! Yay! <laughs> I'm super super excited to be here. Aiden and I have been wanting to come to Mexico for quite some time now. So we're going to be spending the next two months here. Um, mainly we're going to be over in Puerto Vallarta, but we have flown into Cancun and come straight down to Tulum where we're going to be enjoying the next five days. So we booked everything quite last minute, but we did manage to get a pretty good Airbnb and I think the price was pretty reasonable as well considering what was left. So I'll just give you a very quick show around. So this is the apartment as you walk straight in. It's got a very big kitchen area with coffee machine and huge kitchen table. Come into the living area. We have two bedrooms, so this is the nicely made up one that we haven't ruined yet. A bathroom in here, which has a shower that takes about 10 years to get hot, but at least we have hot water, which I know can be a luxury in Tulum. And then this is where we're sleeping. And also at the top of the roof terrace, we have a beautiful rooftop pool. I think there's only around four apartments that share this whole area, so pretty cool. running a few errands this morning and because the weather is beautiful today and um, we're going to try and go down to Tulum Beach um, it says it might be storming the rest of the week so we're going to make the most of the beautiful sunshine here <laughs> club called Baglitali, I want to say. Um, today they said they had no minimum spent, which is good, so we've got ourselves a Tulum local Cerveza and we're just enjoying the view. I'm going to have a lovely day here. Cerveza, por favor. <laughs> Bien? <laughs> Mexican dessert, some sort of coconut roll thing, it's sort of very gooey. <laughs> it's actually really good. Does it taste coconut? -y? Oh wow, it actually it's does look like coconut. coconut. Really good. Oh, wow, it's so good. Mm. I don't even like coconut, and that's good. service like they literally waited on us hand and foot. I think we spent around 78 US dollars but that was like six beers and some chips so a little bit more expensive than maybe what you'd expect from Mexico but definitely can tell in the service. Just as a point of reference, um, when we got the taxi down there, there wasn't really too much negotiating. He said 300 and then we managed to get him down to 200 to take us from like near where we're staying, which is near Centrum. Yeah, it was 250, um, which is an 18 minute drive. I think that's pretty fair. But then when we came back, um, 
they when we came out of the beach club they were like 500 all of them 500 500 we were like no we paid 250 on the way here um but just be sure that if you go to a group where there's lots of taxis someone will take you for 250 and then um we didn't have change for the taxi so aiden had to uh buy something to split up the change how much did that lot cost you 60 pesos 60 pesos how much is that the equivalent to like no. Wow. Delicious. Honestly, these are delicious. They're like corn, um, just like what you buy from the supermarket, but they're not as like floury and a bit squidgier and softer and fried and just incredible. Honestly, what an incredible and just beautiful day in the pool. Over our apartment. Stunning. Look at that sky. I don't even think that you can really tell the colours in that. Stunning. local joint where you order the tacos and then you go up and you help yourself to like the toppings basically so give it a go see what it's like. Tacos here are double lined which I love. Extra filling and not as messy but wow. Creamy stuff on the top is my favourite. I don't know if it's like avocado creamy stuff but it's really good. day in Tulum. It was meant to be storming this morning so we're pretty glad when we woke up that we have a beautiful blue skies outside. So we're going to make the most of it and we're going to head to the archae archaeological sites in Tulum today and go and check out some of the history. Oh, look at him. Hello. 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 <laughs> Tomato-y, beanie, yeah. beanie babies. Beanie babies, that's it. So we're at the Maya ruins in Tulum at the archaeological site. 85 pesos to get in, let's go see what it's about. because you've got the green grass, then you've got the beautiful palm trees and the beach and the blue ocean just the other side. The wall. Oh, on the top. And there's one climbing. Where? On the doorway thing. <laughs> What is he doing? What are you eating, mate? So there's literally iguanas like on every meter or foot here. If we go around, there's literally an iguana. We won't place one just there. This view is just incredible. Beautiful Caribbean Sea. 
looks like a looks almost like a pirate cove. So everywhere we looked at online said that you had to pay cash to get in, but when we did get here, there was a ticket machine that you could pay with on card. So, and it does also ask if you want to pay for um, like to have authorization to film in there, like camera authorization. We paid for it. No one checked, so maybe not worth doing. It's a completely different landscape to what we saw in Greece and Acropolis, where it was just dust basically dust and stones here it's basically like a tropical paradise where you've got blue waters white sands you've got pandanus palms rainforest everything <laughs> so we're back at the apartment we just had a very quick swim just to get off the sand after we went on the beach near the Maya ruins earlier. A um, little bit scary coming back actually on that motorbike, um, on the moped, sorry. And I think that on the scooter in future, we're gonna try and take a little bit more of the back roads just because there's lots of big trucks. But got back, just jumped in the pool to cool off, get the sand off us. We're looking quite red, unfortunately. So we've had to chuck on a little bit more lotion and then we're gonna head out try and find some burritos or tacos or just something cheesy and delicious. Why have you got that top button done up? <laughs> it's because you're a red lobster. <laughs> cocktail with beer mixed with spices and lime juice and normally has a salt cream as well. Piccolata Classica. Let's give it a, give it a taste. Oh, it's got some flavour. Salty. A little bit of spice to it. It's like a star anise in it. Be pretty nice. <laughs> siesta, a little shower and now we're heading off to meet some of our friends that we actually know from the Gold Coast, Ashley and Sailor are in Tulum as well. I will leave their Instagram here so you can go and follow them, they do incredible photos and travelling the world and it's just amazing so please make sure you check them out. Um, but we're going to go meet up with them on the rooftop bar and have a drink. I'm going to switch to my phone just so that we don't risk taking the camera out. Oh, my God. 